one was there, then this treble 19 was the hardest one. And then the, the first one went in, and then you, what you do then, you go on top of that barrel, you aim at that barrel like that. And then the double 12, obviously, you've just got to aim at the double 12. It's lovely Beautiful. when they go in, it really is. But if they missed it, then, you know, I'd have looked a fool. But, <laughs> but then you've got to win the game. It's, you know, it's not just about hitting nine darters. Nine darters don't win you anything. It's just winning the, you know, make sure you get through to the next round. And it was difficult against Jamie tonight. Yeah, well, today, sorry. Because he, he was, like, on form and then off form a little bit and then on form. And in my mind, I was thinking, Jamie hasn't played on TV for a few years now, a couple of years. And I thought, just put him under pressure a little bit, you know, and then he's going to start thinking about it. And he kept plugging away and plugging away and plugging away. God bless him, you know. And, and, but eventually I got, I got on top of him, I think. Well, it's, it's rare. I mean, we've seen you do it four times here. Yeah. Pretty rare elsewhere. Um, the main one was in Blackpool, though. Yeah, exactly, with 100 Stand grand. Stan yeah, 100 yeah. grand. <laughs> well, you got 25 grand for this. Have I? Have yeah. I? Thank you. As if he didn't know. Uh, another cash? 25 grand. Well, Can I be in cash? We'll give you in cash if you want, you know, <laughs> Um, how often is it that you do one in practice? I've been doing nine darters and missing nine darters basically every day against Sean, you know, I've been practicing, practicing, practicing and, and it's they're becoming quite regular now but I'm missing a lot as well. But it's when you're under pressure, you can, they all do them on practicing, honestly, they're all doing them up there but it's when the game on, when that microphone's there and the lights are on you and the camera's on you. It's a hell of a different story. Yeah, though. well, Chris Mason got one just in the warm-up, just yeah. you know, before. But I mean, that, that's quite common for it to happen in the practice. Do you know room, what? Is it? I, I threw exactly. I think it was about my third or fourth go this morning. I yeah. went 180, 177. I went treble 20, treble 20, going for double 12, and it double. I went nearly double double nine. I went right down the bottom of my foot. <laughs> and I said to Sean, I said, I've got a chance of getting this today. You know, I could feel in me practicing. I was, I was getting close, you know, to, to it the nine data. Do you get that? You, you know some days I this is a nine I think you know when you're on day. form, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, sometimes it's better, because if you notice that leg Jamie played well as well, because I was after the leg off him rather than the nine data, you know, because I think he kicked in 140, one, yeah. two, three or something yeah, yeah. like that. And them are the games that, you know, you can do the nine darters because you need to get that leg off him. You know, you're pushing towards that finishing line. I've got a break now till, till tonight, so I can go back to the hotel now. Does, does that affect you, the fact that, you, you know, you, something like that, you get a nine darter and then, you know, you think you've achieved everything and now you've got another game to get ready for. You've got to almost get that to the back of your mind. Yeah, you? you've got to quiet the crowd down because I think most of them have had a little bet on it. Normally people have a couple of quid on the nine darter anyway. Yeah. I, do you know what? I've never had it all. Once I've had a bet on the nine darter and I did eat in Blackpool. I've never had a bet since. I should have a bet since I really <laughs> this one. Here, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, it, it's one of them things where, you, you know, you, you play so many games during the day, two today and then hopefully three tomorrow. And then you can relax a little bit. As long as you get through, you can then relax and get ready for your next game, and I think it does help to get nine darters. It sends out a little message to the others as well, doesn't it? You know, I'm on form, I'm, I'm playing does well. Does it ever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course it does. Barney's watching. <laughs> <laughs> and James Wade. Um, all the players who are playing in this tournament, is the one that you're thinking, hey, I've got my eye on him, he's playing well. Do you know I'm really impressed with this week? I'm impressed with Robert Thornton. I was impressed with young Anastasia, who, who I think, she was practising with me the night before, and she's a really, really good player, she is, yeah. you know. Of a, of a lady player, mm -hmm. apart from Trina Gulliver and, and Dita Hedman and, and, and uh, a couple others, I've never seen anybody play like her, you know what I mean? She can keep up with the men. Obviously, she, you know, she did it against Robert. So uh, she really impressed me, she did, this week. I it, would that be game... great. it would be great for this wonderful game of darts of ours if she could, you know, progress in a major tournament. You've only whetted up her tie so far. She's a cracking little player, honestly. And I think... Get, get her under your wing, teach her properly, because she's got a lot to learn yet, do you know what I mean? Obviously, the pressure was massive for her the other day. How she got up there and did 6-5 in front of all them people and all that pressure on her, all the publicity was brilliant. That just shows you how good that she is, you know? Uh, we've got, we haven't got just the English now and the Welsh and the Scottish, we've got the bloody Russians coming now, so I've swore again, haven't I? I <laughs> yeah, see that look yeah, in your yeah. eyes, sorry. I know, yeah. All right, hey, listen, Thank we'll you. leave it there. Get it off me quick. <laughs> Get him off Time before he does it again. All right. uh, Phil the Power Taylor teaching the world how to do nine darters. We'll see you in a bit.